October is National Fire Prevention Month, and statistics show, on average, every 24 seconds, firefighters respond to a fire somewhere in the nation. That's according to the National Fire Protection Association. Dave White from the Home Depot joins us this morning to discuss simple steps you can take to protect your home and keep your family safer. Good morning, Dave. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing well. It's great to have you back on. So let's dive right into it. What's sort of the first step we can take to prevent fires and to keep our family safe? So I think really the key is to be prepared. You need to make sure that you have working smoke detectors throughout your home. Uh, test them at least twice a year. They're easy to test and also replace the batteries. And when you do, uh, you want to make sure that you get a, a good long life battery like this Duracell Quantum. These are great and they'll keep you safe for a long time. The other thing to, to keep in mind is that, that smoke detectors have a limited shelf life almost. So, so after about 10 years, you really need to replace the whole thing. And then, of course, uh, having fire extinguishers on hand throughout the home uh, is important as well. And you can uh, check those by simply looking at the meter. Uh, if the needle is in the green and it says full, then you're good to go. If it's in the red and it says empty, throw it away and buy a new one. Great. You know, I didn't even know that you had to replace those smoke detectors every 10 years. It's a great thing to actually mm -hmm. know now. As far as uh, places in our house where we should really focus our attention first, do you have any recommendations? Yeah, so the, the kitchen is really the, the first uh, and the most important place, uh, only because most home fires actually begin in the kitchen for obvious reasons. There you're cooking, you've got, you know, appliances and things running. Um, I would recommend for kitchen use uh, this Kitta Combo uh, uh, smoke detector. And when I say combo, that means it's a combination smoke and carbon monoxide detector. We can't really forget about carbon monoxide uh, because that's really important to, to look out for as well. Um, it's a 10-year sealed battery which means it's going to last for 10 years. You don't have to change the battery or anything. It also has technology built in to help you avoid those nuisance alarms in the kitchen, you know, so if you, if you have a pot boil over and things like that, you don't want the alarm going off uh, accidentally. Um, it, it, it also has a voice prompt. So instead of it just being a beep when it goes off, there's a voice that comes on that tells you when you need to exit the home and then what kind of emergency it is, whether it's smoke or carbon monoxide. Um, we also have smart technology then for a lot of the rooms in the home. I would recommend this Nest protect this is uh, actually it's a smart uh, uh, smoke alarm basically you can use an app you can you can monitor it with your smartphone you can actually receive alerts to your smartphone even if you're not in your home so you'll know exactly what's going on you can use several of these around the house you program which room it's in so when the alert goes off and this again is a combo smoke and carbon monoxide with the voice the actual voice alert will tell you what room it started in even so a lot of great technology that's exciting to me it's sort of like the beginnings of a smart house and that's you know that's the future it, basically it, as far as it uh, is and it's an important part it is an important part and fire extinguishers you know not all are the same there's some important things that we sort of have to keep in mind when it comes to them right yeah, so there really are s several different types of fires that, that would occur in the home. First of all, it's sort of the general fire, which could be uh, fabrics and, and wood or, or cardboard. But then you can also have electrical fires or flammable liquid fires like gasoline or even uh, even grease on a stove. So, um, so the fire extinguishers are rated for different types of fires. Uh, so simply look at the packaging and see. But if, if you're not sure, uh, Kitta makes a whole lineup. And this uh, they have one that covers all of those bases. So you might want to just default to that or one that's even really designed specifically for a kitchen. Also, you need to make sure you know how to use them. So remember the word pass. So it's going to be pull the pin, then you want to aim at the base of the fire, then S is for squeeze the trigger, the other S being sweep the extinguisher across the fire. Uh, and of course, uh, if you can't put it out uh, quickly with a fire extinguisher, it gets out of hand, you need to leave the house and call 911. Pass. I'll remember that. Super easy way to remember how to put out a fire in your home. Now, Dave, if we want to learn a little bit more about these products and, and maybe some more tips, where can we go? Uh, certainly visit us in store or online at homedepot.com slash fire safety. Great. Thanks so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me. All right. Now, everybody else, stay right where you are. Morning Blend will be right back.